please parallel park with this red truck signal has to be turned on and then we create a decent gap to allow the car to open his door our mirrors at this point has lined up with his mirror the next thing is to do our reverse gear change and then the next thing to do is to do our blind spots to both sides without turning our wheels remember do not turn your wheels so do your blind spot for me blind spot to the left blind spot to the right and then after that what do we do no turning of wheels move back to see the plate number of the vehicle do not turn your wheels the reason is to avoid collision with longer vehicles you have a high chance of hitting this and this is a truck so now we are at a point where we can see the plate and remember at this point we did not turn our wheels when we were moving back we kept our wheels straight she just did a blind spot she's ready for the first turn and the first turn is a one rotation where the airbag goes upside and come down to the same place notice what happened can we just redo it go back to one rotation to the left so they can see how you did it one rotation back to where it was before so we're going to do it for you guys to see signal to your right so watch it the airbag right hand is right here we're going to go until it comes back to the same place towards our right hand side one rotation to the right this is what we call one rotation to the right and basically with this you are ready to do your first move but we're going to hit the blind spot again just in case a car is coming blind spot no car is coming and then basically what do we do next we're going to move until the back tire is about three foot away from the curb three foot means you should imagine your winter boot distance starting from the tire to the curb three to four foot is good so this is it for us three to four foot and then we stop this is it this is three to four foot we stop and when we stop what do we do one rotation back to the left very good and then we move back and then we move back until our tire is about half foot away don't get too close half foot is just enough what it means is that at the back of the tire you can fit in half of your boot there and then we stop and then when we stop what do we do we turn the wheels we turn the wheels all the way to the left without moving at this time you're not moving and after that so having turned the wheels all the way to the left we begin to move back to see what we get now and then basically we are just going to be moving back slowly and you see the beauty the half foot begins to create a decent one footer and then the moment is parallel you stop the moment is parallel like this with this beautiful gap you stop at this moment you are almost done with your parallel parking remember your steering at this point is not straight you may have noticed it's gone all the way to the left corner so what i recommend you do is this you would have noticed the airbag if you can put your right hand down a little bit the airbag has flipped upside down you want to move the airbag to its rightful position twice so move it down and let's count you move it down once this is it it's at the rightful position but this is just count number one and then you do it again until it goes and return to the same place twice remember for this to work you need to have gone all the way to the left corner in order to try this the airbag would have been upside down bring it to the bottom twice and then what do we do next basically we put the car is still on reverse the car is still on reverse and then we begin to analyze the gap between our vehicle and the vehicle we parallel park with and then we also check the mirror our gap is good so basically all we need to do now is to determine whether we need to do something about a gap is the gap too big is it too long a distance between you and the parked vehicle or it is too close what do you think here is it too close or it's too long or is it just perfect too long it's too long a distance so we're going to close down the gap a little bit so basically what we do now is to shift the gear to drive mode and then we move forward to create an ideal gap an ideal gap simply means you have enough space to get out where you are neither too close nor too far and then basically when you do this the next thing you do is to park your vehicle and then you activate your parking brake or your handbrake which is whichever one you have this is parallel parking we just proved to you that 
with this method it works for both longer vehicles and it also works for shorter vehicles i hope you enjoy this we're gonna go ahead to the road and then we're gonna practice with a small car too we're gonna practice with a big one thanks for watching bye bye